This video is an exclusive excerpt from our latest FSW webinar. If you're interested, the complete replay is available for free by following the link in the description. Have a nice viewing. Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome for uh, in this uh, webinar about uh, thermal management uh, and uh, core plate and freshness to wedding. So uh, I'm going to use a lot this uh, acronym FSW for Freshenster Welding. This is the content of my presentation. I will start by an introduction about uh, what is Freshenster Welding and uh, some uh, real examples of uh, core plate made in production by our customers. I will continue by the market and the cost of core plate done by uh, FSW. I will finish by to show you how to design a core plate for Freshenster Store Welding. And I will conclude this uh, presentation about uh, how to uh, quality control uh, your core plate. Okay, so today I'm going to speak about core plate. So core plate done by machining. So we have other uh, webinar about core plate done by <coughs> casting. So that is more for uh, automotive applications uh, for large batch, large volume. So if you are interested by uh, uh, to learn about uh, core plate done by casting, you have access on uh, our website to the replay of the previous webinar dedicated to casting uh, core plate for automotive. So today we are going to speak about core plate done by milling sopation. So mainly for low volume. Uh, so today it's for uh, Iowa space, uh, new uh, energy space application, where we are speaking about uh, a batch of parts of uh, about uh, maximum 1000 parts. So, so in this case, it's more interesting to mill the core plate than to cast uh, the core plate. So here uh, some examples. Uh, so you can see the size of the core plate here and the welding time. So two minutes for this one, three minutes for this one and five minutes for this one. And it's clear that you can see easily the water channel uh, by following the, the the well pass before this uh, final milling operation. So here a more complex core plate. So you can see the water in here, water out here. Uh, so we have weld uh, this uh, complex uh, shape and we have machine ribs inside the, the water channel to increase the thermal management. And also here, another innovation is housing and cover where nickel coat. So we machine the, the channel we laser cut uh, the cover, both wear nickel coating before welding. And as we can see here, thanks to freshness to welding, we can weld aluminum uh, uh, core plate with nickel coat. And that is possible because freshness to welding is a solid state welding process. Otherwise, it's totally forbidden with a classic uh, liquid state uh, welding technology. And so, what uh, why nickel coating is interesting is interesting because it's for this kind of uh, application it's a very very dirty uh, water so by uh, adding this nickel coating we have very very high uh, corrosion resistance okay so another core plate uh, a half meter by a, a half meter and so you can see here the very complex uh, water channel and here we have cut one uh, one part to show you the the water channel here so basically by friction threading you can do any kind of uh, well pat pass it's uh, basically uh, you will see uh, later we use a CNC machine so you can design and we can weld any kind of uh, shape of uh, of uh, water channel. So it's also possible to perform cylindrical liquid core plate, as you can see here. Uh, so this is the inert part, the uh, outer part. So we fit the inert part inside the uh, outer part 
and we perform two wells on the top. Uh, and uh, thanks to that, we have a perfectly uh, cylindrical uh, coal plate and low cost. Another example of uh, complex water cooling channel. So it's cylindrical, but with a flat uh, welding surface, as you can see here. And here, it's a very thin uh, coal plate. So uh, we start from three one millimeter thick uh, sheet, so uh, laser cut, and we stack these uh, three uh, sheets together. And the friction to welding uh, tool uh, went through the two top uh, sheet and weld with the uh, with the button sheet. So in one welding pass, we get this very thin uh, core plate. So uh, so uh, three sheet of one meter thick. So we have a total core plate thickness of uh, three millimeter. And uh, this uh, core plate uh, was uh, supported a pressure burst of uh, nine bars. By friction welding, it's possible to weld the copper also. So here you can see two examples of core plate made in copper. And it's possible to weld aluminum with copper. So that is totally impossible with uh, classic uh, welding uh, processes or by vacuum boising. Um, so it's unique for uh, fresh welding. So we, I cannot display here uh, real uh, customer uh, uh, parts, uh, but it's possible to weld aluminum with copper. So imagine that the possibility to boost your thermal management by using uh, copper on one side and the uh, housing in uh, in aluminum. So here is uh, some example of uh, our uh, uh, references. So it's a coal plate uh, supplier worldwide in Europe, uh, USA, and uh, Asia, where uh, this uh, customer uh, use our friction store wedding head for CNC every day to produce coal plate. Okay, so now let's go about the market. So you understood today that uh, um, there are two kinds of coal plate. Coal plate made by casting for high volume, mainly for uh, automotive sector, and we have low volume coal plate. So today, my talk is about this low volume coal plate for space, aeronautic, data center, defense, wild, and uh, wind and solar uh, energy. So all these uh, applications are characterized by a batch of uh, less than 200 parts and even 20 parts. Uh, so in this uh, low volume, friction threading on CNC, thanks to our uh, head, it's a game changer because you just place a piece of aluminum uh, into your uh, CNC uh, machine and after five minutes, you get, well, depending on the size, uh, from 5 to uh, 20 minutes, you get a final liquid core plate. Uh, so that is a totally game changer for this uh, low volume. You understood that if you have more than 1,000 uh, batch uh, of parts, it's interesting to get the housing by casting. And in this case, you reduce again the cost of your uh, core plate. So now about the cost of uh, core plate done by FSW. Uh, so first comparison is uh, when we look to the investment cost. So if we compare with vacuum boising, electron beam welding, and friction threading, the cost of the machine furnace, uh, vacuum furnace, we are speaking about 1 million US dollars. Similar cost for electron beam welding machine, about 1 million dollars. Uh, There's still 30 minutes to watch. Access the full video for free by clicking the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about friction stir welding.